Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an Asa Flex Core. Asa Ruko Flex Core, sorry about that. Um, I've been really enjoying um, picking these locks lately. Um, the Asa barrels, uh, they just, I think I've got the feel for them. They're still a pain, but man, they feel good to pick. Let's see if we can get this one open real quick. It's five. Oops, sorry about that focus there. There we go. Put it on three and two. Nothing on four, there's five again. That is setting into the spool. That might be set. I think that's four. Nope, that is four. Yeah, I think we can move on. Bit of binding on one. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. There's one. I think we just got two right there to a false set. Maybe not. Five is low again, it feels like. Go. Five. Thing on three. Two. I think two is set. One is still set. That's good. Five, I think is set now. It also just sounded like it fell. Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready. Two again. Click on four.
I'm going to click on three. I'm trying to get under two and test it here. Switch my tension grip. Make sure I'm not using too much here. Next, I'm going to switch picks to. Yeah, I think I'm overset. There we go, that one down. Definitely overset one right there, so we gotta just let that back down. Four. I let it down just now and reset it because it felt very overset. I was pushing it up and I was getting no feedback and it was super high. There we go. Nice click on three there. That's the movement we needed. Continue two. Two still feels like it needs some. There we go. To a set. Just make sure that's five and not four. So we already overset four, had to reset it. Okay, yeah. That right there is four, so that there's five. There we go. So five looks like it may be set as well. We got some good rotation there. If it's not set, that might be the last one. Here's one. And one just a little too much. I felt something else drop when that happens, so let's go find it. Three feels like. A little bit more on two there. Go five. So maybe that went into a counter, or counter, a false set. So 
it has to be what's next. I'm going to switch to this pick. Back to it. There, get it to me. There we go. Five is definitely set. Feels like two needs to be next. There we go. Full set on that. Feels like. Let's get another pick back out. Oh, one. Almost open. Right there. Four, three. Feels like three's the culprit here. There we go. Three. One, I think, is fine. Two. Five. There's our open. Oof, jeez. Here we are. That is. I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna cut the camera and then get it, but I wanted to show that it was definitely picked. All right, everything is gutted, and here on the left, here are our pins, all barrels. There is our bedding, nice bedding on it, and you'll notice that there's a little nail there. And so that's what makes this flex core a little unique, is that nail fits in the end of the key. You briefly saw it there before camera lost focus. Let's see if we can make it focus there. There we go. So there is our key, and this little nail fits right in the end of that. And it's usually sideways like that. So just like, this one has the pins in it, let's keep it in. So you can see it right here underneath, right there. So if we were to, in fact, I can do it on the other one here. Where did I put that nail at? Oh, oops, there goes a spring, that's okay. I'll find it. So our nail goes in the bottom like that. Then we insert our key. And see that goes right into that little nail. And then that fits perfectly right in the back of the plug right there. And that's how that works. So there we go. That is our ASA Flex Core. Really cool little fun lock. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.